We're at the start of section two now, because it's now showing clearly one, two, which those were both grayed out before. So good to know. <sighs> Looks like we're about to get through this next stone. I, can I like zoom out? I want like a freaking background screensaver with this, because it's so pretty having all the different sections, having this giant like cargo ship in the middle for containers and stuff. I imagine another one's gonna be like the whale potentially. It's such a good background. Ah, lake. When I looked into its water, others I see my shimmering reflection. Maybe I'm just as refracted and twisted like my reflection in the water. It doesn't matter which lake I'm we're on. I always look so warped, so unstable. Is she having like a refraction? I happened upon Ishmael musing things around the time we were on our way to the elusive Labodny Corp branch of the Great Lake. It had been a while since our last disastrous incident. Maybe my distorted reflections were just me. Ishi. Even from a distance, it was evident that Ishmael was gazing down at her own reflection in the water. I rested my wandering feet and decided to watch her for a moment. I wanted to see what Ishmael was looking at together. My hands were peeling, bleeding. Salt water seeped into my gaping wounds. It hurt so much, so much that I thought I might faint if I didn't let go. But I couldn't. Is this past Ishii in the corner here? I think so. What was I holding on to? Executive manager, there's a matter that requires your attention. We are approaching our next coordinates. Uh, okay. I'll go see too. Ishmael woke up from her introspective active and straightened herself. She strode towards us. What's up ahead? The raiders caught something we have a visual on. A solitary ship. And it looks like we have three hours to kill before we're allowed to move on to the next lake. Unless... The executive manager would authorize us to weather the waves once more. I can't... That expression... Oda seems... A bit nervous. Maybe? I can't quite tell from the expression. No, Otis. The losses were worse than I anticipated, and I remember what Ishmael said. We were extremely lucky the waves that came for us was a relatively manageable one. Yes, Executive Manager. Thanks to Otis, who quickly abandoned the idea the sinners and I could observe this new vessel with somewhat lighter hearts. Uh, Sinclair, you say that now I'm more nervous. <laughs> uh, what a relief, that doesn't look like a pirate ship, that's... Ooh? Don? A mini cruise ship over yonder. Ah, a veritable party ship. A vessel of party. Even from 
the distance, I could see the colorful balloons and the banners decorating the ship. None. Ah, oh, Dylan, I can't match your energy <laughs> with this. It has me nervous. <laughs> I love the party. None shall be vexed. No matter how I frolic at the party, not will pay mind to how I leap and run and shout out in there. What a joy, is it not? Fergie, go easy on the girl. <laughs> Why don't you? <laughs> Virgil is so like no. Mm. Mm, I'm sure they sold local delicacies there too. Liquor, treats not found anywhere else in the city. Roger and Don Don Quixote both shot twinkling glances in my direction, then at Virgilis. Then back at me. Virgilis shrugged. Whatever we decided to do here was none of his business. Well, maybe. They can tell us something about the nearby Lobotomy Corp branch, or maybe they know something about the LCCB E agents. <laughs> Don's so happy. <laughs> Don Quixote was rhythmically swaying her shoulders. Maybe she's trying to imitate the Marlin dance she glanced back at the club. Hi ho, allow me to ask thee and thy fine company a few questions. The faintly blaring music was the only response from the ship. Maybe they can't hear us over the music. Boy, music these days, they're just too loud for me. Think, Gregor, you are old man coded. <laughs> It'll be ha faster if we just head over there and ask them in person. I guess we can quickly stop by and ask them a few questions. We had three hours to kill anyway, might as well make ourselves useful and collect some intel. Ishmael shot a glance at Virgilis before staring at the floor wordlessly. <laughs> I say it's a reckless idea to just row up to a random vessel we don't know anything about. It's like... Like its owner or its history, but if the executive manager insists... Sure, let's stop by. Now that was a very Otis thing to say, isn't it? It's just the attitude I decided to adopt. I think this is the first time they've spoken to each other since 4.5. At least directly. I feel like they've been keeping a bit of a distance. <laughs> Now this boat will come in useful. Oh. Will this boat not capsize? Oh, he's sung. Should I pack some life vests or a buoy? By the time all 13 of us had squeezed our way in, the skiff was absolutely packed and precariously swaying. Some sinners' faces darkened with concern. Don't worry, guys. Even if all of you drown, I'll bring you guys right back. All right as rain. Just kidding. <laughs> All right then, drink responsibly, everyone. In a manner that was extremely out of character, Virgilis waved at us. Does he know something that we don't? <sighs> I feel like Virgil knows a lot of things we don't.
I still don't see anyone on the deck. Wait but a moment, I shall make use of my lungs to how a bellow so powerful that they have no recourse but to heat us. Oh. I honestly expected it to be louder? Hark? Yep, <laughs> I'm Shut it, you'll burst my eardrums. By the way, is it okay for us to jar barge into a yacht party like this? We don't have the um an invitation or anything like that either. Puff out your chest, Greg. The more the merrier, right? They'll understand. I couldn't care less about a party. Already, we're here together, Intel. Waste any more time, and I'm leaving you behind. Wow, this place really is fancy. Numerous liquor bottles and half-eaten food were strewn about haphazardly all over the deck. Here's that this party must have ended very recently and abruptly. I spy a light shining from the ship's interior. Shall I go swiftly like the wind and verify its sources? Thank you, running on sheer excitement for the party scuttled to the cabins. Well, that's one loudmouth gone then. Heath, I feel like you're the second? Oh, just your fist! You have a bat! Oh, I guess the bat's used for other things. He glitched the Anthus fist into the loudspeaker ear that's been blaring music the in this entire time. Blimey, me, now that's a relief. Thought my eardrums were about to burst. I decided to remain silent. The music was pretty loud. It's awfully quiet up here now that the music's gone. Tanglo, I feel like you're about to tell a ghost story. This reminds me of a similar story my nanny used to tell me. It's an old story, but... Dunkyote returns with a dumbfounded expression on her face. There was not. What was not? Food? Drinks? Both? There was no one. Did we step on a ghost ship? Yet the lights were left on when there is sold to be seen inside. Ridiculous. It's clear to me that mere moments ago, a large group of people were having a party on the deck. How could there be no one aboard? For truth, mayhaps they are busying themselves with the game of hide and seek? I can't imagine that the cloud yeah, crowd that left all these liquor bottles behind would be in the kind that enjoys playing hide and seek like kids at a party. So what? They just vanished into thin air? Like they were wait, did the waves already? There's one remaining possibility, the ship's storage space. Are saying that these party people left all this uneaten food and liquor behind just to huddle in a cramped storage room? Oh, I remember now. Yes, the story went just like this. Wow. 
Once a huge manor sent out invitations for a grand party, but when the guests arrived, they found the manor vacant and engulfed in death, engulfed in death, deathly silence. How, how about we get the music going again? Ah, uh, I think that's dead. <laughs> I smashed the radio lad. If this ship was struck by the waves, we have to get out of here now. Then, boom, boom, banging noises came in from behind a door slightly ajar. So, of course, they went in there to investigate and... And, and... And there they were, bodies as stiff as corpses and rear mortis, arms stressed forwards, hopping up and down. Hopping up and down? Uh, that's... Oh, that's, uh, I think I'll go check out the storage space. <laughs> Wherefore art thou, I... For art thy palm so sodden? Jeanette! <laughs> Sinclair heard and left the room in search of the ship's storage. Which was the dance that there was all a rage back then, apparently. The art of dancing must truly be an art of great prof profundity? profundity? Not a word I'm very familiar with. Well, that was some damp squib. I thought that was actually going somewhere. I had thought I was quite confident that this would... This would all be a tale of the living dead. It's feeling like that, Yisong. No, what you do that for? You scared the kid off. Where'd he go? I'll go find Sinclair. And there, and there's a fight involved. Dismiss, edit, support. Having a friend that has already uptied the hook makes me happy. That way I can still use them. It's pretty dark in here. The hallway to the storage was significantly narrower than the party deck. By nothing but faint, occasional flashing light lights to guide me through the dark hallway, I decided to proceed carefully. Seriously, this place is way creepier than wherever Hong Lu was going with the story. Sinclair? You there? I wasn't sure where these water droplets were falling from, but they were getting on my nerves. I don't see anything here. Not that I could in this dark arc, even if it were. All I see is a faint, faint, very faint ray of light and... Sinclair? And Sinclair, it seemed to me that he's been standing here for a good while. Exactly how long, I wasn't sure. Uh, Sinclair stood there Still like the dead, he looked up. What are you looking at? Now that I'm in here, I noticed that there was something funny about the ray of light. I assumed that the light we saw from a lamp or something, but no, it was just there, surrounding the general area where Sinclair stood. There was no light source. So the light shining in from the outside, maybe? No, that doesn't make sense either. We were deep in the ship's storage. A big metal box with no opening for even a single strand of natural light. Besides, it's nighttime. This is getting even more and more bizarre by the second. Where is this light coming from? They're really building this up. Uh... Sinclair, we gotta get out of here. Sinclair? Run, now. Come on! Fear the unknown intensify as what I saw defied every bit of common sense I had accumulated over the journey. And I had to get Sinclair out of there. I snatched and tugged his limp wrist. Come on, wake up. 
That seemed to have done the trick. Sinclair suddenly snapped back to reality and began and screaming. He bolted out of the room. Lad <laughs> lost the plot. What the bloody hell? Okay, I need to figure out how to read this. Okay, there was a person there. Part there. I'm not gonna be able to say this. Yet. There was a person floating, floating in the air. Air. A person floating in the air. Floating. Someone was up the re up the reed, just suspended in the air. Okay, now I'm actually cooped out. That can't be a person. Then that was. Well, you think we have enough time for a lecture? P prepare for battle. Harun, Oh, what? I was typing something. I did not see these. These look cool. Though this place is terrifying. Well, I have so many of the same colors happening. This is not the best. Okay, that's neutral. I'm still okay with that. Dominating favored. Shit! That's her best move! I'm okay. Stop looking at my phone as much. Oh, 
녹아진 힘들걸요? 완전히 녹아내렸네? 완전히 녹아내렸네? 개화하였구려 레벨 4 and 1 The leveling up via just playing the game at this point is awful <laughs> I do it. I try. At the very least. But it really just requires tickets now. I kind of wish they would upgrade the experience drops, at least for later levels. It feels like there should be a higher increase. Why? Oh, right. She still has her thing. I was like, why is she at negative 25 already? But I forgot about like the default bullshit that was going on with her. It's not enough to get me to take her off though. Can't make me game. At least I don't think I don't think she's required to bring yet. I imagine she will be like Yason during the dungeon. Mm. Yeah, actually, no, that's not. Yeah, I'll do that one because it matches. I could probably start doing just some night. When it comes to these, I don't mind doing win rate for the most part. Because just dragging across, there's no selection of who I'm going to be hitting. Dagger. Moonlight. Dominating and favored customer. <laughs> Usually that's the only thing I look for. I'm just like, is, are we dominating or if I need to look for a specific type? Oh, hey, I plan on using the Sego, so hey. Which gives me more. But that usually is more attributed to dungeons. When I'm just trying to stockpile early on. Hong Lu is supposed to be like one of the really good ones. I have mixed opinions. I think his benefit is he has he's very hard to kill for the enemies and he's very hard to stagger for the enemies. Cause the stagger is so much further down his health bar, but Oh my god, I've had some struggles with him, and he doesn't do as much damage as I'd like sometimes. That's kind of why I really want the Ting Tang! Uh, so they were mermaids? Yeah, whoever sailed on the ship, they were probably too distracted by the party to realize that they broke the law of the lake. So... What's that? Uh, uh, that like shadowy figure right there. Has that been there? So we ended up so they ended up getting devoured by a whale. And this deserted ship is the aftermath. Yeah, 
Even if we stick to every single law of the lake, depending on the type of its waves, getting too close to a ship that broke the law could get us swept up in the aftermath. Their single lapse of judgment led to this chilling catastrophe. I remembered Ishmael looking into the lake, muttering to herself. I also remembered the rough, biting words she threw at us. This was the reality of the Great Lake that Ishmael survived before joining us. Why? Looks a lot worse. A place where even the smallest mistake could mean total annihilation. A place where one must struggle endlessly to survive the terrible unknown. So this was the kind of path Ishmael sh bleh, sailed before joining us. If only, if only I had known, then maybe I could have been more understanding of her. I love Dante. Dante's best. I keep going back to my quarrel with Ishmael back at the boat works. I can't stop thinking about it. We have dispatched the mermaids that descended onto the deck, but lingering any longer may draw the rest of them to us. This party is over. Let's return to our ship. We left the cruise ship as fast as we could. After an indeterminate amount of time oh I have hiccups so we didn't find anything I made the wrong call I shouldn't have made such a rash decision it's okay at least we're still alive oh that's right okay pause this here I had thoughts in between last part and the update to open up to this next part. I was starting to wonder if Ishmael's initial anger toward Dante especially was like, um, what's the word for it? Like, viewing Dante almost the same as Ahab. Viewing Dante's sort of ignorance almost but gunning ho still with everyone toward this golden ball the same as ahab's single-mindedness toward the white whale i think that's what her view of it was especially in the early parts of this chapter and that was that ishmael didn't say anymore okay <sighs> I'm glad Ishmael's calmed down. Uh, it is fortunate, however, that we procured ourselves some rations for the journey ahead. Oh, so they still got food and stuff. That's nice. Oi, <laughs> hey, the raiders caught something. It's large. It's very close to the center of the coordinates. And that dot on the radar has to be the Lobotomy Court branch of District 21. Oh, so we're almost there. I'm going out for some air. Ishmael slowly returned to the spot up by the ship's railings where she stood muttering to herself. For a moment, I wondered if I should follow her like I did earlier, but. But maybe she wanted some time alone to think about things. I decided to leave her be. Get your shit together. Bury your feelings from them. I have a mission I must see through to the end. My one and only mission. I've sharpened my harpoon for that singular moment. I have to be colder, harsher. I absolutely now feel Ishmael's singular goal. I have a mission that I can't fail. And if anything even dares to stand in my way, I'll... Yeah, okay. 
I want to get through the last of that dialogue before I continued. I am absolutely feeling her singular mission is killing the mermaids of the Pequod crew. Because I'm absolutely... If we do not see them as mermaids, I'm actually going to be a little pissed. Because they're setting this up that people don't die necessarily when they get caught by a whale in these waves. They become mermaids. So, we absolutely should be seeing mermaids of the Pequod crew. And I think that is a larger goal than even revenge should be for Ishmael, especially. Especially her saying needing to control her feelings and put them in, become a harsher, become colder. I think that's also her mentally preparing for needing to kill someone like Queequeg. Her closest companion from that, that her partner in that, so that's definitely like that is there that ah ah oh. oh, there it is our destination the lamonomy corp or branch of u corp you think they're still there the survivor's pilot mentioned they probably are but they might be mermaids oh shit <laughs> unless aught has transpired since then we still have time aplenty this place looks interesting as Sinclair and Yisong shared their thoughts the large structure loomed even close Moser out of the mist and into the line of sight. Yeah, I agree, Ryoshu. Creepy. Every sinner save Ryoshu froze. That's the lobotomy court branch. We are as close as it is, as it is physically possible to be to the center of the area delineated by the coordinates. The structure, size, and appearance match the intel we received as well. The sight was enough to shut everyone up. The hope that there may be any survivor in the structure was far too optimistic, a notion for what appeared before us. I observed the lobotomy court or logo between the white materials. So that's really... On the smeared logo of the lobotomy court branch glistened amidst mounds of pallid blasphemous white this was undeniable reality we found ourselves in what the heck happened here or hell happened here rather the pilot said the last thing that the twin hook pirates said before leaving this place was the calamity is coming wasn't it this sight summons to mind memories from the earlier days of this company. And the manner in which organic tissue was plastered over the walls is quite reminiscent of that experience. Uh, back to the D Corp branch, right? I hope there's no poison gas trap or anything like that in here. At D Corp, there was a traitor in this, thus it would be false equivalency to use that experience to gauge the intensity of this mission. Yeah, I don't think it'll mean much, much better here, if not worse. And Pilot's team is already... We should consider them lucky if they haven't been turned into mermaids. So the calamity was... The calamity that I mentioned didn't destroy the Lobotomy Corp branch. It transformed this place into something uncanny. Something so grotesque that the total obliteration would have been a preferable to whatever happened here. Oh, well, destruction isn't the only kind of calamity in this world. 
The Great Lake is home to five calamities. Well, four now, I suppose. What do you mean, four? Whatever do you mean? Hmm, I meant that... Hmm, you'll find out soon enough. It won't matter how careful you are at the Great Lake, the calamities will always find you. The laws of the Great Lake don't apply to them, making it impossible to predict their patterns. Okay, so there's the laws of the lakes that are split into sections, and then there's the calamities that just get to free roam. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> And now's the time you row your way into the ruins the Calamity left behind. Take the skiff to the Lobotomy Court branch. It's on the lake adjacent to this one. I'll be keeping my distance and, and watching from this lake, just in case of an emergency. Isn't that exactly why you should be coming with us? Who knows what the guy is but uh, thinking, eh? That was loud. After a quick tinkering from Faust's gift, if Tiger decided to miss Mephi, began and to slowly and to slow descent. If anything, Virgil actually should stay here because if anyone's gonna be able to just power through any calamity or shit that's going to show up. They've already been presenting him as badass, so he should be able to protect Mephi while we do this. It's the same skiff we used to get to the cruise ship. We're getting a lot of use out of this boat. Mm, I still don't trust this dinghy. It's too small. The small engine on the skiff revved gently, and our short, sputtering journey to the bottom of the bridge began. Our lake's usually this foggy. The lake, I think, earlier was pretty misty, too. Hmm, we must remain vigilant. Fogged up horizons are cli- I meant wipe- cl Climate quite ripe for an ambush. Forsooth is the number one rule of adventuring tales. Almost looks like web. There was a growing sense of trepidation among the sinners as we climbed the pale membrane enveloped stairs leading to the Lobotomy Corp branch. Hey Dante, can you sense it? The golden ball? Not yet. Hmm. 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 So we should turn around and head right back to the Mephistopheles. I don't want to worry more to the team whenever we gotta check out places like this, but I have a bad feeling about this, guys. If anything, I feel like Sinclair is more of the worry word. Uh, not worry word, scared cat, actually. He gets these moments of brave and bravado. Which is why it was kind of surprising he went to the basement on the cruise ship, actually. The closer we get to the entrance, the more reluctant the center's gates began. Although we are growing increasingly wary that some uneasy enemy could ambush them at any second. What's the holdup? Aren't you coming? Don't you feel th this dread? I thought it would affect you most. You're the one who spent years on the lake, after all. So? That's what's stopping you? It's... huh? Wait by the entrance if you're not going. What do you expect, mate? I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm talking sense into her, her a while ago. 
I thought you'd gotten a bit more cooperative as of late. Guess I was wrong. Well, we do have to go. Ishmael appeared to be the only sinner uninterested in the Golden Ball. The Golden Ball is unfathomable, bone-chilling horrors of the look. The Golden Ball, the own... I don't know. I was starting to believe that she considered all of that nothing but obstacles between her and her mission. What made the, this pale mucous membrane covering the entirety of the structure? Some kind of mold, maybe? I-F? To identify it as fungi would require to exhibit characteristics unlike like the ones we can observe here. I agree, they don't appear to be fungi. In fact, they appear to be made of organic living flesh tissue. See the blood vessels here? They've grown into random shapes without purpose or intent. Is that an LCB jacket? Ridiculous. I am surrounded by IF. What do you mean? Art reliant on the chaos of existence cannot create patterns such as these. Look at the big picture, fool. Gazing upon the big picture, I only see a pointless disputation nation that does not but waste our vigor. You do not intend to stall, no? See thither, Ishmael already walks at a fair distance away from us. 